All right, Quincy, you guys, uh, you guys got some. It's it's a twenty four man roster right now. A little small, right? Yeah, it is. It is. And you left. Uh, you left Ohio. U where you know you guys had a big roster, five returning national qualifiers, two returning all Americans. What do you got to do here at Buffalo to replicate and surpass the success you had while you were on the staff at Ohio University? Well, um, first of all, it's probably a similar interview that we had uh, about four years ago when I was at Ohio. It's mindset. You know, I think culture of the program. Um, you can't be small-minded in this sport. You can't think, oh, we're a MAC school or whatever it is, and now the MAC conference is um, rapidly improved, so being good in the MAC conference means quite a bit. But, um, you know, the, 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 the big thing is, yes, yeah, is, is changing that mindset, you know, expectations of greatness, believing that we are going to be great here. That's a big component of it, but certainly recruiting, um, bringing the right athletes in. Um, for me, that's that's a that's one of the things that you know was an opportunity for me in this new role here at UB is um, I'm the recruiting coordinator. Um, it's not not super common, I guess, that the second assistant is the recruiting coordinator. Um, I had a pretty good hand in recruiting at Ohio, but you know that was kind of Kyle's role, so I worked with Kyle and, and we worked well together with it. I think we had a lot of success building that roster there, um, but. You know that's something I was excited about. I think that's something I'm, I'm I'm good at. I'm organized in it. That you know, there's kind of part of part of recruiting in my mind, my mind is a is a science. You know, there's structure to it. You're looking at certain things, but then there's an art to it. You know, it's it's being a people person. You know, um, really letting re letting the kids know what you have to offer at your school. I'm big on that. So, um, I think in my role here, um, the the biggest impact I can make is is really. Getting getting kids on the roster is, is going to be a big part of my role. You know, getting getting talent on the roster, filling up our roster. Obviously, you said we're a little thin right now. Um, we have a, a lot of um, kids that are looking to come here, so I, I think we will fill up that roster. I think when signing date hits here, we're gonna, we're going to have a lot of signings early, probably more than any um, that, that I've ever had. Um, even for a year, or some years, I don't think we signed as many kids as, as we are going to um, here in early signings. So. It's important to get the right kids too. You can't just recruit paper recruit. I'm not. A, I'm not a believer in that. You know, it's getting kids. Getting kids that um take care of academics. You know, um you can't be focused on being a great wrestler if you know you're constantly stressed out because you're not taking care of academics the right way. Obviously, socially, you know, are these kids a fit? Are they going to be willing to um, sacrifice what it takes to be great? And finding those kids that are um, not necessarily the most talented kid is always going to be the best in college. And, you know, anybody that follows wrestling knows that. There's there's plenty of kids that were multiple time state champions that go to college and don't do much. So um, the key is, is recruiting the right kids, filling up filling up the roster um, with the right kids, and obviously, yes, looking for some talent, adding talent, whether that's in state. Um, we're always going to look first and foremost to recruit New York kids, and then we're always going to build that build that. And I had a lot of success. Uh, and we had a lot of success at Ohio going into states like Illinois and really building a pipeline there. Um, and that's a big part of where that where that roster developed. Obviously, a lot of Ohio kids. Ohio's a great wrestling state. I think New York's a, a very good wrestling state. But always kind of going into those areas. Um, you know, for me, uh, my Minnesota ties. Sometimes I'm look look um, in Minnesota or really anywhere in the Midwest. I've uh, I've had a decent amount of success and built some ties there. So. I think that's what I'm gonna what I'm gonna bring to the table here, and um, I'm very confident that we have the resources. Um, everything's here for kids to want to come here. We're a very great, very good academic school. Um, you, you saw our wrestling room, coaches' offices. You know, I got my own office now, so I think there's a lot to sell here. I think there's a lot of reasons for kids to want to come here, and, and above all, um, we're gonna be a very good wrestling team. Coach Stutzman has coached very good wrestling teams, with far less than we have here, so. Real confident that we're going to get it. we're going to build a roster here real quick, and we're we're going to get the kids on board mentally, you know, believing in big things, and, and then we're going to we're going to start accomplishing big things. You did a phenomenal job uh, with Illinois. Half your national qualifiers last year on Ohio University's team were from Illinois, and they were both freshmen. So you did a phenomenal job there. Uh, Minnesota, you had some Minnesota guys on the roster. Is that something you think is going to continue? And I saw some verbals. Some guys who committed. I know you guys can't comment on those, but yep. I think I saw an Indiana kid maybe. I think I saw another Illinois kid. But are you going to continue those Midwest and going after those? Obviously, we know New York's a great wrestling state mm -hmm. with you know both the Gillespies or local kids from here 
And, you know, and we could go down a litany of guys, yeah. obviously, Jansen. There are a ton of great guys that come out of New York. Yeah. But when you talk about New York and bringing local guys in, but will you continue your Midwest ties like you did at Ohio University? I think that's part of one of the things that um, Coach Stutzman um, liked about what I, what I had done um, in my past. Um, you know, Midwest kids, uh, they're, I don't, I don't want to pigeonhole people, but, I, you know, kind of a blue-collar mentality, and that's, that's what we're working, looking for. Um, we, we want kids that aren't going to aren't gonna kind of gripe about, you know, what it takes to be successful at this level. And it takes a lot of hard work, a lot of sacrifice. So, you know, um, I always add in Midwest kids, that, that certain type, and not that those kids can only come from the Midwest, but absolutely we are going to look to those ties. Um, Bryce, he's originally from Indiana, so um, he's got some Midwest ties as well, and actually um, he grew up for part of his uh, life in Ohio too. So um, we're gonna we're gonna look in those areas. We're always gonna try and add, especially you know, real talented blue chip type kids from out of state. But there's a lot of good kids in, in New York. You know, Kyle Tate was only a one-time state champion. That tells you that um, you know there maybe maybe it was a unique situation, of course, but. Um, there, there is a lot of talent in New York, and, and we need to lock down that talent, and I think we are right now. I think we're doing a very good job of, of bringing local kids or, or wherever, in-state kids, keeping them here, um, proving to them that UB is a good place to succeed athletically and academically. An hour and a half south, the best state that there is. How important is it to get into Pennsylvania and get, and not, and John did a great job at Bloomsburg getting the fours and the fives. Yep. To you know, Matt, the Matt Mullies, the Spades, those types of guys to, to be all Americans, want a multi-time all American. How important is it to go down there and steal a couple state champs? Like you said, the guys never. I don't think he coached a state champ, a Pennsylvania state champ, at Bloom. But how important is it to get down into Pennsylvania? And obviously, what what comes with Pennsylvania is obviously Jersey. How important is it to get into PA? Um, PA is important. We um. Jersey's on the on the list too of states that we're looking at, but definitely PA. Um, tried my hand in a little at it, and when I was at Ohio, um, it's one of those states where I think you you really need to know, um, y you need to really have some existing relationships to be able to recruit it successfully. Um, obviously, John has a ton of existing relationships. Um, we can get a lot of good input on the type of kids we're recruiting, you know, because PA does have a lot of talented kids, um, but. No matter where a kid's from, you always want to make sure you do your homework on them, and, and it always helps when you have some ties to that state, you know, um, with high school coaches, club coaches, you know, people that train, you know, uh, weight train and stuff like that. So um, we, we, we're, we're working hard at PA. Um, we're probably real close on a few kids. Um, we will continue to look at that state because anybody that's probably having a lot of success is, is going to get some kids out of PA, or especially if we're in this area. Maybe maybe out west it's a little different, but um, if you're going to be successful um, in the area that we are, we're going to have to get some PA kids.